friends, my name is Miss Ashley and welcome to Storytime with Siouxland Libraries. Today's Storytime is going to be all about rain. Have you ever heard anyone say before that April showers bring May flowers? What do you think that might mean? Sometimes in the spring, in months like April, it rains a lot. And after the rain, new things can grow, like flowers or green grass or even new leaves on the trees. So lots of rain can be a really good thing in springtime. And it can be fun to jump in the puddles too, right? Right. Okay, friends. So today's stories and songs are going to be all about the rain. But before we get started, let's sing our hello song. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Oh. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello. Great job, friends. We're going to start off with a rhyme about five little raindrops. I'm going to stick them up here on the flannel board. One, two, three, four, and five. You can hold up five fingers and pretend they're five falling raindrops. Follow along with my rhyme. Five little raindrops dancing on the walk. Pitter patter, pitter patter. That's the way they talk. Out comes the yellow sun shining in the sky. And away goes one raindrop. Bye-bye. How many are left? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Hold up your four fingers. Four little raindrops dancing on the walk. Pitter patter, pitter patter, that's the way they talk. Out comes the yellow sun shining in the sky. And away goes one raindrop. Bye bye. How many are left? One, two, three. Hold up your three fingers. Three little raindrops dancing on the walk. Pitter patter, pitter patter, that's the way they talk. Out comes the yellow sun shining in the sky. And away goes one raindrop. Bye bye. How many are left now? One and two. Hold up your two fingers. Two little raindrops dancing on the walk. Pitter patter, pitter patter, that's the way they talk. Out comes the yellow sun shining in the sky. And away goes one raindrop. Bye bye. How many are left? Just one. Hold up your one finger. One little raindrop dancing on the walk. Pitter patter, pitter patter, that's the way they talk. Out comes the yellow sun shining in the sky. And away goes one raindrop. Bye bye. How many raindrops are left? None. They're all gone. Great job, friends. Next up, we are going to read our first story, and we're going to use our Book Flicks online resource to read our two books today. So parents, you can access Book Flicks either by clicking on the link that'll be included with this video in the description or visiting our website, siouxlandlib.org. You will scroll down on the homepage and find the Kids Square. Click on that. There will be a drop down menu on the left and you'll click on book flicks. If you're accessing this website from home, you will need to type in your library card number and PIN. If you have any trouble with that, you can call the library at 605-367-8700 or email us at libask, L-I-B-A-S-K, at siouxfalls.org. So once you're over on book flicks, you will search for rain. And the two books we're going to read today are called Come On Rain and Rainy Weather Days. So 
You can pause the video here, head over to BookFlix, read Come On Rain, and then come back to story time. Welcome back, friends. That book that you just read, Come On Rain, do you think it was a made-up fiction story or a real non-fiction story, non-fiction book? It was made up. It was fiction. And how do you think those characters in that book felt when it finally started to rain? Do you remember? They were very, very excited. How do you feel when it gets rainy outside? Are you excited too? Do you like to dance in the rain and jump in the puddles like the characters in the book? Or do you have a different favorite weather? Like snow is better or sunny is better. Hmm. Take a minute and talk about it with your grown-ups. What is your favorite kind of weather? I love sunny weather. It's my favorite, but sometimes clouds in the sky will hide the sun. So I have clouds, white clouds up here above my head, and I'm going to put colored clouds on the flannel board. So let's see what different colors these clouds are today. I have a red cloud, an orange cloud, a yellow cloud, a green cloud, blue cloud, purple cloud, a pink cloud, a brown cloud, and a gray cloud. I also have a little blue raindrop who likes to play hide and seek. So my raindrop is going to hide behind a different colored cloud and we have to guess where the raindrop is hiding. So before we start, we're going to have to cover our eyes. No peeking. Don't look. Okay, friends, open your eyes. Where could that raindrop be? Hmm, raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the gray cloud? Let's peek inside. Nope, let's guess again. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the brown cloud? Let's look inside. Let's peek. No raindrop. Which color should I look behind next? Any guesses? Hmm. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the green cloud? Let's peek inside. No, no raindrop. Which color next? Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the yellow cloud? Let's peek inside. Yes, we found our little blue raindrop. Good job. Raindrop wants to hide again, so let's cover our eyes. No peeking. Okay, friends, open your eyes. The raindrop's hiding again under a new cloud this time. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Which color should I check? Are you behind the red cloud? Let's peek inside. Nope. Hmm. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the pink cloud? Let's peek inside. Nope. Which color should I check next? Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the orange cloud? Let's peek inside. Nope. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the blue cloud? Let's peek inside. Yes! We found a raindrop again. Good job, friends. Okay, last time we're going to play. Hide your eyes again. No peeking. All right. 
open your eyes. This is the last time we're going to try to find our raindrop. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the red cloud? Let's peek inside. Nope. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the orange cloud? Let's peek inside. Nope. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the yellow cloud? Let's peek inside. Nope. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the green cloud? Let's peek inside. No raindrop. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the blue cloud? Let's peek inside. Nope, no raindrop. Let's keep going. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the purple cloud? Let's peek inside. No raindrop, we still haven't found it. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the pink cloud? Let's peek inside. <sighs> no raindrop. Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the gray cloud? Let's peek inside. Well, we only have one cloud left and we still haven't found the raindrop. So where do you think the raindrop's hiding? What color is this cloud? Raindrop, raindrop, where do you hide? Are you behind the brown cloud? Let's peek inside. Yes! Great job, friends. We found our raindrop one last time. Awesome job. So next up, you're going to head back over to BookFlix and read a book called Rainy Weather Days. This is a nonfiction book, which means it has real pictures inside and it's about real life things. So you might learn some new vocabulary words by reading this book and you might find some fun things to see in the pictures. And parents, if you click on the read along button for this book, there's a narrator who will read the book aloud for you. So pause our story time here, head over to BookFlix to read Rainy Weather Days, and I'll see you back here in just a few minutes. Welcome back, friends. Did you learn lots of fun new vocabulary words from reading Rainy Weather Days? Hmm, do you remember what icy rain is called? We read about it in the book. Icy rain is called sleet. Good job. And do you remember what a cloud is made up of? What's inside of the clouds up in the sky? Many tiny water droplets. Good job. Okay, friends, last thing we're gonna do today is a song about the rain that you've probably heard before. It's the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So you can sing along with me at home. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Great job, friends. After story time today, you can have, head back over to BookFlix and do the puzzlers. There's two puzzlers, a word match, which is a vocabulary game based on words you learned from the Rainy Weather Days book, or which came first. Parents, this is a great way for your kiddos to practice their sequencing skills. They'll practice identifying what came first, next, and last in our fiction book that we read today, Come On Rain. And there's also some great things that you can explore in the Explore the Web and Meet the Creators tabs in BookFlix as well. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me for story time today. I can't wait to see you back here at the library soon. Have a great day.